Number 10. The Handbook of Chemistry and Physics gives solubilities of the following compounds in grams per 100 mils of water. Because these compounds are only slightly soluble, assume that the volume does not change on dissolution and calculate the solubility product for each of them. Okay, and then in this example, we have BASIF6. They give us uh, the solubilities of 0 0.026 grams per 100 mils, and they give us a little hint that this contains the SIF6 2 minus ions. Okay. Now, a lot of words for one simple thing. We need to calculate the solubility product, right? The solubility product is just the wording for a KSP. SP, solubility product, SP. So, in essence, we have to find the KSP for this compound, the BASIF6. But, remember... Any KSP comes from an equation. So I first have to write out the equation. So let's do that first. They gave us the compound that's going to be dissolving, dissolution. So I have Ba, Si, and maybe I'll write that a little bit. There we go. SiF6. And this is a K expression, so this has to be at equilibrium. And it's going to break down into its two ions. That's why they gave us the little hint here. They told us that one of the ions is the SIF6 2 minus. So that means out of this whole compound, the SIF6 has to stay together. So the split is between the BA and the SIF6, right? So maybe I'll just write that. So we have BA and then plus the SIF6. Now they did tell us that the SIF6 is a negative two charge, so I'm just gonna say that. But now what's the charge of the, the barium, right? Well, a couple of ways you could do this, right? We could go through the way of crisscrossing, finding the charges. This one is actually simplified. Or we could say that barium is in group two on the periodic table, so it's always gonna be a plus two charge. I think that way is easier. This should be like a review from all the way in the beginning. Now, since we have charges, these are going to be aqueous. So Ba2 plus aqueous, SiF6 aqueous, and this compound that we're starting with is slightly soluble, which means that it's going to be a solid. Okay, now let's write out the general KSP formula. Now, the, the general KSP formula is this one right here. It's just equal to the concentration of the products raised to the coefficients. Let me put this, maybe what I'll do actually is I'm going to split this up. So I'm going to actually put this over here, and then I'm going to put this, the work over here. Okay. That's beautiful. Now, just to make sure, is this equation balanced? But yes, it is, right? I have one barium, one barium. I have one SIF6, one SIF6. Now let's write that expression. KSP is going to be equal to the two products, so the concentration of the barium, 2 plus, times the concentration of the SIF6, 2 minus. And we have to raise them to the coefficients, but for both of them, it's just a one-to-one. -one. Both of them would be raised to the first, uh, but, you know, that's the same thing. So now the question is, what is the concentration of barium? What is the concentration of SIF6? The only number that they gave us was that it was 0 0.026 grams per 100 mils. Remember, if we have brackets, that's molarity. Molarity is a very, very specific formula, or specific unit, right? Molarity is the unit mole per liter. They gave us gram per mil, so we have to do some conversions here. So I'm just going to do that on the bottom. 0 0.026 grams of, they gave us the starting compound, so this is the BA, 
SIF6. And this is all over, maybe I'll put this a little bit neater. This is all over 100 mils. I have to take the grams and convert it into moles. I also have to take the mils and convert it into liters. But we work with one unit at a time. Let's work with the grams. Let's convert grams to moles. So we times by a, a ratio, right? We throw the grams on the bottom, BASIF6, moles of BASIF6. And remember, grams to moles, that's the periodic table. One mole is equal to whatever the mass of BASIF6 on the, on the periodic table. So periodic table's out, Kalki's out, 137.3, that's BA, silicon, 28.09, and then I have six fluorines. So 19. So roughly we get 279.39. Okay, so that gets rid of the gram issue. We now have the moles. But remember, I want to convert mils into liters. So I could just do one more extra step to get mils into liters. The mils are on the bottom. So put the mils up on the top to cancel. And the liters go on the bottom. Milliliter to liter conversion, there's always a thousand mils for every one liter. Milliliters cancel, and look at that now. You have moles divided by liters. So let's just do this math. 0 0.026 divided by 279.39, and then I'm going to just multiply by a thousand. And we get 9.3, we say 9.306 times 10 to the negative fourth. And this is mole divided by liter, which is the same thing as molarity, right? So this number that we just found, this solubility, this molarity is for the starting material. So I have 9.3. 0, 06 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. I'll just put capital M here. From this information, we could find out what the barium concentration is and the SIF6 by doing our mole ratios, just looking at that co those coefficients. For this equation, they're all the same. It's a one to one to one ratio. So that means that whatever this molarity is, these would be the same. So the barium two plus would also be 9.306 six times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. And this would also be 9.306 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. And now since we have both molarities for the two ions, I could finally plug it in into my KSP equation. So let's go for it. KSP equals the two numbers multiplied by each other. So we have nine, 0 0.306 times 10 to the negative fourth, and then 9.306 times 10 to the negative fourth. And finally, from that, we can get our K SP value. Let's see. 9.306 times 10 to the negative fourth, basically squared. Uh, we'll say two sig figs, so 8.7 times 10 to the negative seventh. No units for KSP, and that's the end. Okay, I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and hope you're doing well out there. Let's keep studying hard, and good luck on your future tests and quizzes, all right? I'll talk to you later, bye-bye.